Guys, I'm back. I'm taking you along my Paris shopping adventures. If there's a designer that you like, trust and believe it's gonna be featured in this video. I'm super excited to share with you everywhere I shopped in Paris over a three day period. Let's go. So as you guys can see, I had a ball shopping at the Dior store right after I decided to check out their new cafe at their Avenue Montaigne Boutique. It's a new experience at Dior and I've got to say it was lovely. I got to have my croissants, I got to have an iced coffee, which is pretty hard to find in Paris actually, and it was just a time, okay? It was just a time. Alrighty guys, so I'm done with my shopping for today. I will show you guys a little bit, in a little bit what that looks like, but this has been like the best experience ever. For someone who works in luxury retail, um, I was floored at the service here at Dior Avenue Montaigne. Um, from the museum, to my salesperson, to the cafe, it was all like, honestly, such a magical experience. If I can give you guys some tips for visiting this store, I had appointments at two other locations, um, but I really wanted to come here, so I just did a walk-in at like 10 a.m. And from my own experience at my store, I know that like opening time usually is not busy at all, so I took a chance, I came. There was no one here, I had like the whole store to myself. There were like a few other people, but it worked out really well. And now it's like two hours later, I'm still here. It's like an adult playground, I swear and um, now it's crowded. So if you wanna get in without an appointment, I suggest coming when they first open. Next up, we're checking out the new Dior Gallery, which pretty much curates the life of Christian Dior. Guys, look at how beautiful this is. All of the bags. 
bags and ready to wear on display for everyone to see. random thing that I've realized about Paris since I've been here everyone is surprisingly really nice you have all these stigmas but I don't think it's true um the salespeople are really nice every single place that I go even in Chanel I made a contact there although they didn't have what I was looking for but overall really nice compared to like New York and I'm from New York I love people from New York but I just feel as though they haven't always been really nice at Chanel in New York so it's kind of refreshing. These are dorbs though. Say hi. 
social lady or your crystal lady? the Gucci store, by the way. What do you want to show me? Do you have it in my size? Okay. Where are we going? We're going down there. Oh, we're not allowed. It's cut off. We're going to get in trouble. I, I went down there. Oh, no. They're going to kick us out. Come on, let's they, go. They, they saw. The security guard saw me, and he didn't say anything. They're really nice here, but we want to be respectful. All right, let's go. I went down there, man. It was so cool. You should so guys, I'm at the Gucci store and I just made a really good contact. Everyone here is so nice. Honestly, my experience shopping in Paris so far has been great. All of the sales associates are great. I think we bond because I'm a sales associate, but those are my guys right now over there. And they're chatting with my husband about Formula One, but it's been the best time. All right, guys, so on today's excursion, we are doing Gallery Lafayette, and our first stop is going to be my old stomping ground. So those plans changed really quickly. The line at LV was too long, and I wasn't about to do it. My friend stood on the line, and I decided to explore the rest of the department store. All of the designers were there, so I had to take a look. Here are to die for. Ooh. Paris has definitely got my heart.
are liking it. It's a pretty cool department store. Very big. Um, yeah, all the shopping things. Alrighty guys, so on today's Chronicles of Shopping in Paris, so we had an appointment at Goyard for 11.30, but we missed it because of our other shopping shenanigans. But you guys know, I'm pretty chill. It's like, for me, it's just luxury things. It's not a big deal. We'll stand on the line. It's probably gonna be a little bit of a wait, but I think it's all gonna work out, right? You just always have to think it's always gonna work out.
love with Paris. I know it would be time to be working my last nerve, but how cool is this chair? Imagine having this at your house. It's the most giant bottle of Rose Devon. So we just went to Hermes, but I'm venturing off because the wait time is really long and I really want to check out the Jacquemus store. And it's only four minutes away from the Hermes swimming pool store. So that's what I'm doing. Add it again, which one pick one? This one classic. Guys, stay tuned for part two of Shopping in Paris, where I share with you everything that I bought. An epic unboxing. Alrighty guys, so I left my hotel at like 9.30 and it's now 2. And I told my family I would be back by like one but I've had such an amazing time just out shopping by myself that I'm late so I will wrap up this vlog and I'm pretty sure I'll have a lot more to share with you guys as I venture through Paris of course guys don't forget drop it in the comments down below let me know where would you like to see me visit in Paris thank you for stopping by Maison Molly and I'll see you guys next time